first one in line just secure the dub look at that line of people waiting cool grades first in line i got it yeah boy Morning, good morning, good morning. Saturday release day. About to go scoop up the uh, cool gray 11s. Already got my personal pair, but I'm picking up for other people. It's gonna be a good day today, y'all. Gonna be a real good day. Sneakers of the day, gonna be wearing. Uh... Ooh, I almost dropped them. <laughs> gonna be wearing them Baron 11 lows. I ain't worn these in a few years. Still looking good, still in damn good condition. Look at that, look at that bottom. So yeah, I'm gonna be rocking these bad boys today. I feel like people don't rock 11 lows too much these days, but it is what it is. So line ain't too bad. They moving it, they moving it pretty good. Crazy, cool gray 11s. No. So, just got kicked out of the mall. We managed to get our sneakers. Crazy, 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 crazy release day. I didn't expect this 11 release day to go like it did today. Like, I literally was on a time crunch. One of the guys I know in Champs I'm pretty cool with was like, yo, I'm gonna let you get this transaction in, but as soon as you, you pay, you gotta go. Then it was a finish line we were trying to use like Afterpay, that's like the new thing they were doing. So me and wifey was trying to check that out. And for some reason, it wasn't taking it when we had way more than enough money for a pair of the, for a pair of kicks in there. Today is just nuts. This this release day almost remind me of that Bread 11 release day. Like when everybody's stuff started tripping out. The only thing is today, it wasn't stuff tripping out. It was just stuff crazy going on. Like in the mall, like that was going on, how they kicked us out. And come to find out, it was a fire in finish, uh, not finish line, in Foot Locker. And I actually know somebody that worked in Foot Locker, and I'm just like, damn, man, you know, you can smell, like, you can smell it burning. You know, you can smell the smoke. Hopefully, you know, my people are all right. Um, I don't think it's too bad, but, you know, you, you, you hear the word fire, and everybody want to panic and stuff. So, about to go home, start putting these shoes aside that I got for people that, that needed me to help them get pairs. And yeah, you know, wonderful, wonderful, interesting field day. Just filled with lots of interesting things. Hey, 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 hey. What an interesting day, yes. Let me get this jacket off. It's pretty warm in here. It's been an interesting day today. So, we went to go pick up from Dick's, Dick's Sporting Goods this morning. And they were already people just like, not camped out, but just people coming in one after another, one after another, one after another, trying to get sneakers and stuff. Know, as y'all already know, I already had my own personal pair of the cool grays. But um, yeah, we we cleaned up. We cleaned up good. You know, me and um, me and my wife and a few of my homeboys. You know, we uh, I think we did good. We did real good today. We did real good. We did damn good. We did super duper good. Ooh. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, guys, not trying to flex too much, but let's be realistic, man. Um, if you want something bad enough in life, you just got to grind for it. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, man, I get so many people hit me up on a daily basis asking me to get them sneakers. I don't mind camping out, helping people get kicks, 
Because when I first started collecting sneakers years ago, I was going through it, man. It was hard as hell to get sneakers. Like, you know, this is before even the resellers was be, being a, a sneaker reseller was a thing. And me personally, I am not a sneaker reseller, guys. You guys know that. Um, ooh, let me. I'm trying to get these boxes situated by size. But you guys know that I love collecting sneakers. I'm a sneaker collector. So if, if I can get my own personal pair, and if I can help everybody else get their pair, then I guess you can say I've done something good, right? It's all about helping out those that need it. But, um... Uh, let me put these down here. I uh, just need one box right. But, you know, basically, uh, um, let me before I, you know, get too far off the topic. We went out to Dick's, went out there, you know, did our thing, got our sneakers, and then went to get breakfast after that. Shortly after that, um, we went to the mall. Uh, I hit for a pair of sneakers in there. Wifey also hit for a couple of pairs in there. And I guess you could say today we just got lucky because right after, right when I was buying the last pair of, of sneakers, they started kicking people out the mall. And it wasn't because it was any, like, anybody was getting hurt or shooting or anything. It was a Foot Locker caught on fire. And, uh... You know, the one thing you don't want to do is be like, oh, it's a fire, it's a fire. And then the first thing you're going to know, the first thing that's going to happen is fear and panic. You're going to see people running. You're going to see people leaving out of there because you could already smell the smoke. Um, I don't think it was anything too bad. They already had the fire department there. Um, yeah, it was just one of those things, you know, of, of something unfortunate happening. And um, I got lucky. I, by the grace of God, I was able to get, you know, cop my pair of sneakers and boom, we was out of there, you know? And um, I haven't talked to uh, my friend that works over there yet. Uh, they, said she, they sent the text, you know, I'm assuming everything is cool. But of course, being that they were working today, I'm pretty sure they got to call, you know, corporate and, you know, take care of some stuff. And yeah, it sucks. Uh, I just hope the store didn't get jack get too messed up. And, you know, I... I, I <laughs> I heard somebody when uh, I heard somebody when I was walking out the mall. They were like, "Man, I hope I can still get my sneakers, man. Man, you better hope your sneakers don't smell like smoke when you go bad and bad boys. It when if if and when they open back up, man. So I got lucky, you know. Me and wifey did get lucky. All these kicks y'all see here, um, it's not all for me. I'm not reselling. These are all well, minus minus my uh personal pair, but all these are sneakers that we pretty much cop for other people that were needing sizes and stuff. Now I know a lot of people are like, oh, so many pairs they released and all that. Dude, they came out with what they said. It was over a million or some pairs, whatever. They still selling out. Obviously, it sold out on Nike. Um, when I went to, was it, uh, yeah, when I was at Dick's, they were selling out. And it's, 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 it doesn't matter how many pairs of kicks are released. If people want the sneakers, they're gonna buy the sneakers. It don't matter how many pairs. You can you can say it was two over two million pairs released. It don't matter. People still gonna buy those sneakers. People still gonna as long as people are wanting Jordans, they're gonna buy them. Nike can produce how many pairs they want. People still gonna buy them if they want them. But I wish I could have made this video longer. Um, I didn't get a chance to really get too much too much footage because. It was a quick mall, uh, a, a quick trip to the mall. Get what you need, get your ass out. Before we end this video, you know, take the shoes out the box again. This is actually, what size is that? Seven. This is actually my wife's pair that she got for herself. Ever since she, every, you know, me and my wife been together a few years now. And I've seen her want to just rock regular kicks. And so now she's like tripping on sneaker day. Like, oh, you're wearing a pair of 11s. I don't have a pair. You're wearing a pair of sixes. I don't have a pair. Like, you know, women understand something. 
when you get into a relationship or a marriage with a man that is a sneakerhead, uh, just beware because what's gonna happen is his his habits is gonna rub off on you big time. You're gonna start loving sneakers, if not just as much as him, but close to almost as much as he loves sneakers. You know, it's it's to the point my wife be telling me, um, did you see this pair that's coming out soon? Did you see that pair that's coming out? You know, it's pretty cool, you know. My 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 passion has truly rubbed off on her in a good way, you know. We don't sit here breaking the bank, going crazy, not paying bills and stuff like that to get sneakers. I mean, I used to do that. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I used when I was a bachelor though, when I was in, in an relationship or anything, I would literally go with not eating much and taking money that I had for food when I was on a budget, like when I was in college and stuff, I would literally just be buying all type of sneakers and stuff and be like, man, fuck it, I could go without eating this meal or that meal, but I ain't gotta do that no more. I'm not balling, I'm not rich, um, just living a little bit better these days. I ain't gotta do that no more. But, you know, this is a cool gray 11, not a bad sneaker. You can never get over that new shoe smell. You know, get that icy, icy, sexy, clean, icy bottom. You know, white shoelaces just to set it off and it makes the sneaker pop a little bit more. Um, believe it or not, I actually talked to another one of my guys out uh, today. He was like, I didn't too much like him. I don't, I didn't like the high cut, high cut leather. You know, to each his own, right? Uh, I had to get him. I like them. I love them. And. I was not gonna pass up on grabbing these bad boys. I just wasn't, you know, why Why would I? You know, I couldn't, I could never do that. But you know what? Wish I could make this video longer, guys. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Like always, you know, I wish I could have got more footage today at the mall, but it was pretty much a quick in and out thing due to certain circumstances, you know, unfortunate circumstances, you know, things, things that, you know, we had no control over it. Nobody thought it was gonna be something like that going on today in Foot Locker. And, uh, also, I, I hope every everyone's over there cool. I hope the store's not too damaged and stuff. And um, yeah, you know, I will see you guys in the next one. Love your loved ones like it's no tomorrow. Peace and blessings. I see you guys very very soon. And as always, thank y'all for tuning in. And um, you know, if you like what you you see in this content that I be putting out, go on and give me that like. Go on and give me that subscribe. Interact with me. Shoot me a comment. I'm very interactive with my followers. You got anything that you want to say to me? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I will interact with you. You know, I will respond. Until the next one, I'll see you guys very soon.